Hello everybody, this is Zero, and today we will remove the suck from Dark Souls PC version. Well, here it is. As promised, the video will show you how to fix the resolution, the mouse, and if you're running multiple monitors, the mouse again. To recap, out of the box, Dark Souls 4 PC is resolution capped at 720p, which actually looks worse than that. And it's basically unplayable with keyboard and mouse. So today we're going to fix those issues. As you can see in the video comparisons, the difference between the graphical quality is enormous, and even more so is the difference between the controls before and after the patches. Notice how jittery and jumpy the mouse is. The fact that you can see the Windows mouse is also quite annoying. And most of all, if you have multiple monitors, the cursor can and will go into the other screens, making you all tab if you click any of the mouse buttons. So let's get started with fixing this otherwise fun and challenging game. Don't worry about needing to jot down any program names or URLs. All the necessary info will be in the description. So the first thing we want to do is download DS Fix. It will fix the resolution to actually allow you 1080p and possibly above. Once you've downloaded the zip file, extract it to your data folder within the Dark Souls directory. You'll only need these four files here. Now we'll fix the mouse. Go get the file, download the zip, just like before, extract it into the data folder. We'll need to tell the DS Fix to use this mouse fix before it'll actually work. This is done by editing a specific line in the dsfix.ini file. Find the line with the D input 8 DLL wrapper none. Just look at the site, copy it, and paste it in. Go to your Dark Souls data folder, locate the dsfix.ini, open it up with notepad. Control F to find where the line is, Control V to copy it in, find the line, change it to exactly what is shown right here. Remember to remove the pound sign before this whole line if there is one. To edit the mouse parameters and buttons, run dsmfixgui.exe. Note the action modifier key. Use this to allow extra actions to the same key. For example, light attack is left click, but heavy attack will be shift left click. For the people with multiple monitors, the fact that the game does not capture the mouse means dropping down to the desktop at random moments. This happens when the mouse enters the other screen and you click any of the mouse buttons. This can be catastrophic as you might be fighting a monster, a boss, running off a ledge, whatever. The fact is that Dark Souls never pauses. Not when you're in menus, not when you're alt-tab, never. I've tried a bunch of programs, and there's one that is very popular called Cursor Lock by Snakebite Studios, but for me, that never worked. What did work was an open source free program called Dual Monitor Tools. All you need is swap screen from the Dual Monitors tool set. Despite its name, it has a cursor lock function. After you run it, it will be in your taskbar. Go there, right click it, and go to options. This screen will pop up. Go to cursor, find the third option, lock cursor onto screen. Create some kind of key combination that works for you, something that you don't use in game, of course. Be advised that the key combo needs to be pressed while you're in Windows. If you try to do this during the game, it will not take effect. You can always drop down to Windows by alt-tabbing, press the key combo, and go back to the game. This will work. One last very important thing to do, this is while you're in-game, is to go to your PC options and disable anti-aliasing. It's AA in the options. The reason you want to do this is if you have the fixes and you don't remove anti-aliasing, you will see that the game is a small little square in the top left corner 
and the menus and the UIs, everything is fine, full screen, 1080p, but the game itself is just a little box. If you disable anti-aliasing, this will fix it. Well, that was a lot more work making the video than actually applying the fixes. Fixes are going to be super easy, download, 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 install, and you're off to go in like five minutes. I hope you found this video useful, and happy demon slaying.